Hello. Hello, AOS fans. The agents of Beastgrave. And tonight, I'm playing Grand Clash winning Grimwatch deck. And I'm playing the Grand Clash almost winning Curse Breakers deck. So, just three days after the Grand Clash, we are recording it. You won't see this for a few weeks yet, but we are recording the Clash of the Champions. It was, yeah. Uh, or Clash of the Champion in the runner-up. <laughs> uh, but, yeah, uh, so we're going to play both. Um, one, I think, is going to be Patria, but for this game, I'm going to be playing the Grimwatch. I'm going to be the Curse Breakers. And then we're going to swap, and you can see that on Patreon. So yep. if you want to join a Patreon, to go have a look at that. Uh, you've watched the final on Twitch. I have watched I've the final. I don't understand how Twitch works, so I've not watched it. But it's you like YouTube. Sound like a sound like a rollicking game. It was close. You were telling me Pete was going to live close. texting, even though we were driving home, which is really weird. Now, he was live texting it today. Um... Uh, uh, what was go how it was going? Yes, I was watching sounded it. really good. Sounded like it was like one first game was really uh, went to the Grimwatch. Second game went yeah. to the Curse Breakers quite decisively. They were they were like yeah. twenty to ten and then twenty one to nine or something like that. And, and in, in each game, the leader and the opposite force went down, and that was kind of the right. the signifier that they were gonna they were gonna bite it basically. Okay, so I mean if if uh, we haven't really had much time, it's only a no. few days. I've looked at the deck briefly. I mean the Grimwatch deck. Looks like many other Grimwatch decks. Strange that. Um, I, mean, I guess it's most of the skill is in the, in the handling of the, of the player. Yeah. Um, but Curse Breaker's deck's very similar. Yep. It looks a bit like a Curse Breaker deck we've seen before. And I find that these kind of decks, the main thing is they kind of play themselves. So yeah, long they as sort you, of print you glory, do don't they, really, as you yeah. said today. Particularly the Grimwatch. Yes. Kind of feel like, as a, I don't know, but I kind of feel like I, the advantage is slightly with me. Because I feel like... Not that the Grimwatch are easier to play, but they're a bit more forgiving. They do seem you don't quite to know what you're doing. You can almost sit at the back with Grim, where you don't have you, c yeah. you can't because you've got to go off yeah. objectives. But you can almost sit back and just let the glory roll in. Whereas yeah. Stormcast, they've got to cast spells or hit people and do stuff like that, which always needs dice rolling. And of rolling. course, you'll be looking to get into my half probably to stop me inspiring. Yeah, and there's only two, yeah, there's yeah. only three of you, which is like two thirds of your warband. It's going to be tricky. I'm not very confident after my weekend performance because I managed to lose just about every game. And, but ironically, I did beat the Curse Breakers. So, Yay! So, uh, yeah. Oh no, wait. <laughs> <laughs> so we'll see you soon in the Beast Grave. Hello! Hello, Radio West fans! We're set up and ready to rock and all roll, delete where applicable. Yes, well, I'm just ready to roll, actually. Oh, okay. Uh, because it's, we've got to roll to see who um, hey, places first. Model. Well done. So, so we, we did set up the board. Yep. You won that roll off. And I actually bucked that trend at the Grand Clash. Uh, not did that you? it did me any good. But um, <laughs> I did, yeah. And. So you you won. You've taken. You took first choice. I did. And I heard something in a podcast, something about Grimwatch offsetting. So really your mum. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so I went for it. I don't know what I'm doing, but I, I decided to offset it. Uh, I don't really know whether it makes a difference, but I've done it. And okay. Uh, um, yeah, yeah. We'll see what goes on then. So we've placed all the objectives and everything. I've got three, five, and two. Robin's got one and four. One and I don't four. think the numbers will matter, but maybe mm. the placement. And we've got two lethal hexes right there. We have got, I have got one about holding one in the round, which if I don't Ooh. get it in round oh, one, true. it could that's be tricky. I don't, know whether it's in, well, I don't know whether it's in the deck, though. Well, I do, actually, but I might have it. <laughs> <laughs> so it's in your hand right now. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not telling you. I hope it is, because I'll be a really easy score it. <laughs> that is true. Right, so we're going to roll then. Robin, go for the Grimwatch. Oh, Ooh, two doubles. doubles. And I'm going to roll loads of crits now. Uh, just one. So, um, yeah, well, you can place I'm, one first. Uh -huh. So, I'm going to start with a Duke Harriers there. I'm going to put Amis Dawn Guard right there. Amis Dawn Guard. Right there, right now. <sighs> okay, I'm going to put. The Knight's Herald there. It's, it was quite nice the Grand Clash to actually know what my fighters did. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm suffering from that a little bit right now as well. I'm going to put Rastus there. Uh, I'm going to put Master Tannen there. And I'm going to put Avaron over there. I'm going to put Grackmara here. And it's all you. I'm going to put, I'm going to put the Royal Butcher here. So I'm going to put Grisselwell at the back here. I was a bit confused there. I'm going to put Valric at the back here and this um, one with the arm, which is Master Talon. <laughs> one with the arms. <laughs> <laughs> well, he's got an arm. He's holding an extra arm. Yes, he's got an extra arm. He's already had seized weapon played upon him.
Okay, so the roll to see who gets to go first then. So the curse breakers get a crit Ooh, a single. And and a nothing else. Crit a single. So two crits and a single. So really nothing. Well nothing but not enough. Okay, I'll go first then I guess. So my first go, and I've seen them do this, the pros do this, so <laughs> Are you gonna empower one of your Yep. You're going to empower right. your soldier, Pete. I'm going to empower my soldier. Uh -oh. I'm going to try and empower my little man. <laughs> a little I'm man or, your, or your little woman? <laughs> <laughs> my little woman. Okay. I'm going to attempt to empower Amis. That oh. succeeds. That succeeds. So she inspires, and I score Harness the Storm. Oh. Score immediately if a friendly fire oh. successfully casts the spell. A flying star. A flying star. Smashed it. This deck's easy. Should take this one to the Grand Clash. Pick up a new objective. And right now, I've got nothing in my power step. Okay, I have nothing in your power step either. So my first activation, I'm going to move Master Talon onto this objective here. And I'm going to play Frenzied Search and get rid of the Clown of Avarice. Whoa. I'm going to put the Eye of the Storm on Avaron to give him an innate shooty Ooh. lightning bolt. And then in my second activation, I'm going to charge with Avaron. One, two, yeah, to there, I think. And he's going to zip zap at whichever that one is chewing on somebody's arm. That is the Master Talon. Okay. You may well kill him. Two swirlies, one damage. Oh, swirly and a crit. So swirly I can't stop that crit. No, can't you stop can't. So one damage to him. Okay, I'm, I'm not going to push him back. Not going to push him back. Interesting. So Avron inspires because he's mm. cast a spell, and I also score overpower. Score immediately Ooh. when a friendly fighter successfully casts a spell if there was one or more crit. Again, another glory for that. So in the power step, I'm going to attempt to cast Sigurd's Salvo. So this is two lightnings. What does that do? If this spell is cast, I choose an enemy within three hexes of the caster. They suffer one damage, and I can push them one hex. But it must take you'll you further be, away You'll from be dead me. by then. Yes. So it's one lightning already built in due to my Eye of the Storm, oh. and it's two more object... Uh, dice. Two more dice. There's a crit again! No, 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 it wasn't two crits though. So that blasts him and looking for. he's dead. <laughs> We're getting towards casting four spells. You and I, cast four and I score Strange Demise. Oh, nicely done. Two more glory. Nicely done. Wow. This object, this, this deck's really easy to play. Uh, over to you in my power step. I'm going to play Haymaker. I still have nothing. Okay, and then I'm going to play Distraction. I'm going to move. Never on to there. Getting off the objective, I see. Mm -hmm. I still have nothing. Okay, and then I'm going to play Spectral Wings. Oh, still nothing. I think you're in trouble, Rastus. I think it's got to be Rastus, hasn't it? I was wondering whether to go for Avaron, but I think Rastus is the man. Shot I Rastus, yeah. could one-shot Rastus, so one-shot Rastus. <laughs> <laughs> With Dick Woolworths. <laughs> so I'm gonna, I will attempt to one-shot Rastus <laughs> on my second activation. Well, here he's dealing with just three damage, so I'm going to have to charge a Gristlewell. One, two, three, four, five, six to there. This is like the first game. Except it's not Storm Side. Uh, it, yeah, it's not Storm Side, but if I lose somebody straight away, that's already a third of my fighters that's down. four dice, needing swords. There's oh. a crit, and not much else. Oh. Only one defence dice, I need a crit. Oh. oh! Not having the luck in this game. No. I will push you back into the. So you take a damage. One wound for could Wastus. Be, could be game over for poor old Gristlewell. <laughs> Well, the um, trouble is, if I go after Gristlewell, yeah. I can't get people in your half. But I will score swift capture. Oh, nice. Anything in your power step. Yeah, I'm going to place impervious delusion, uh, delusion on Gristlewell. Oh, on Gristlewell, eh? Mm. Ooh, interesting. I'm going to put the Fameway Crystal on Dawnguard. Ooh. Anything for you? No. And then I'm going to also put... 
the potion du rage on her as well. Okay, so on to my third go, and I'm going to charge with Dawnguard and use the Fainway Crystal to telemopitate right next to our ugly chops there. And I'm going to use the Potion of Rage as well. So it's five dice hammers. Oh, a crit and a hammer. So that will kill her. She's only got one. Oh, won't we sit three damage? Three damage. Inspired. Yeah, it killed her. That's a glory for me. Mm. And I've got nothing in my power step. She's a bit out of position now, though, with uh, Crack Murrow breathing down her neck. But mm. well, I've got nothing in the power step. Nothing for me. The only way of saving this is to make a charge action with the Butcher. One, two, three, four. Yeah. So I've got to get something out of this. Very, very. Un I've got to get something out of this. It's very, very unlikely. Three swords. Two swords. Thirty-two. Oh, it's a crit though. Oh. Oh, wow. Kidding me. Wow. I will push you back though. This game's dead easy if you just roll crits all the time. Oh. I see what John's talking about now. Yeah. I mean, this game's pretty easy with crits. I have been very jammy so far. Actually, the, well, you have. Uh, yeah. You could have killed Rastus. Yeah, I've rolled two crits on yeah. defense now so far. And you rolled an unfeasibly large number of crits on your spells as well. Yeah. You've rolled four. Yeah, maybe. I think I've probably rolled. And one in the pa and one in the reroll. Yeah, the I think nearly every roll I've yeah. done so far has been crits. Maybe okay. I've come back from the Grand Clash blessed. Maybe, maybe. Anything in your power step? No. Nothing for me either. So on to my fourth and final go. And I'm just going to move Rastus forwards. Okay. One, two, three to there. Okay. And nothing in my power step. Okay. I've got nothing in your power step either. My fourth activation, I'm going to charge a crack marrow. Out. One, two, three to there. This could be where things get robbed. So, dodgy. crack marrow is two hammers, two damage. Should I roll one crit on defense or two? <laughs> <laughs> oh. Nothing. Nothing. It would appear I don't need to roll anything. No, but I do score temporary victory. Nice. And um, in the power step, I'm going to put the larval lance on the Royal Butcher. Completely forgot about our train that had been painted up beautifully by one of our Patreon supporters. Yes. I'm going to put Arcane Savant on Dawnguard, making okay. her a level 2 wizard. Okay, I'm not playing the, the final card in my power step. Okay, on to the end phase then. The end phase, you went first. I did. I have scored a magical supremacy as I have cast two spells. Mm. Um, two. And I've also scored combination strike uh. as I've scored at least two objectives in the preceding well action done. phase. So three glory for me. I'm going to keep the last one, so I'm going to drop two objectives and five power cards. Okay. I have scored supremacy. Supremacy. Opening gambit. Ooh. And combination strike. Wow. For six. See that's why you should Bam. Put, that's why you should put multipliers in. Yeah. I was sitting there with combination strike thinking I'm not gonna score two objectives. And this is why you should never take combination strike. And then the butcher managed to knock you off the objective. <laughs> and it was all okay. You're like, oh. See I thought I was doing well and suddenly that happens and now it's eight to nine. Yeah. So But I, you're you're in a better position than I am maybe. Possibly, because you don't inspire. You don't inspire no. So I've taken three new objectives and four new power cards. Time to roll them for round two. Grim watch get oh. crit and a single and that one of each. So curse breakers. Oh, Ooh. that was nearly a crit, but I didn't have the single to help. Now you got to decide. I have literally no idea what to do. I just don't know what to do with myself. Going to make my roll for the crit goal. About to be come over the other side of the board. No hammer. hammer. So master, oh. master talent appears here and kills Amis <laughs> immediately. <laughs> immediately kills Amis, which is nice. Oh dear! Oh dear! Okay, now that might change my decision of what to do because I've now got assists. So I think I'm going to go first. So yeah, a little we've, we're a bit Grimwatch not savvy, but I think we should have done that before the roll. We kind of effectively have because I didn't decide. 
to it after yeah. the, after and if you wanted to I'd let you change your mind anyway so I don't think okay. that's too much odds but if we have got that wrong people uh, do shout it out yeah do let us know so I'm going to tap the crack marrow on Amis ow a crit and a sword I need hammers Whoa. can't roll hammers but a crit if you roll another crit I'm going home <laughs> oh, I am home oh no or shield certainly not is that two damage that is uh, two damage yes ouch and I will push you back into the corner. Ow. Power step. No, I've got nothing at the moment. I'm going to put the Well of Power on Dawn Guard, I think. Have you got anything else? No. Nope. This might be a mistake, but I'm also going to put the Blessing of Vitrix on her as well for an innate I feel like a spell's coming. Might be. I've still got nothing. Okay. And then... <clears throat> I'm going to cast Cry of Thunder. Oh, what does that do? So that is... Um, it does damage. If the spell is cast, choose an enemy fighter anywhere. There's no range on this one. That fighter and any fighters adjacent suffer one damage. Okay, you do have to be able to see them, though, don't you? I, mean, I, know I there presume are, you must have to see people them. So. Who <laughs> you can see, I can including see, yes. Clack Marrow. Clack Marrow. <laughs> so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try and zap uh, Wheelbarrow with that one. Yeah. So she's now a level 2 wizard, and I get a innate lightning. So I just need one lightning. Uh, three lightning. Three lightning, yes. So he takes wound, oh, and so does the Bouchard. So I've got nothing else to do in your power step. Um, <clears throat> I've got nothing to do. I've okay. got nothing to stop what's coming. Okay, so on to my first turn then, and Amis is going to charge. Here? Whack. Here? Yes. Here? No. Which one? <laughs> I will go back. Uh, actually, I'll just go one to the side. To there? Yeah. Okay. So she's going to have a go at Crack Marrow, three hammers, three damage, and a knockback of one as well. You're not going to need that. No, that's true. <laughs> one crit. Oh, it rolled off. Oh. I get glory for Crack Marrow's death. Crack Marrow is dead. So I also score strong start. It is not looking good. And I'll pick up another objective. And I have nothing in my power step. I'm going to put the Tome of Offerings on Gristlewell. In the past, I'm going to play Pack Advance. Ooh. I'm going to move the Butcher up to there. Mm. And I'm going to move... I am going to move Gristlewell up to there with Pack Advance. Okay. And then in my second activation. I'm going to charge at him. One, two, three, four to there. Okie dokie. So it's two swords, three damage. That was a bit of a out. crunchy moment. I probably should have tried to hit with Avaron. Tried to hit Avaron, rather. Mm, possibly. But, but you could take Rastus out there. Yeah, and really you guys thinking you might charge him out of the way, and then I can't kill him. So, oh, oh! double crit! God, we've rolled a lot of crits tonight. It's been a lot I've of rolled critting. a crit, a couple of crits to attack. You've a rolled crit. crits left, right, and centre. No, crit I double crit. Well, oh, Rastus... I'm going to score a peerless fight now. No. Oh. Well, Rastus the Charmed is not so much, and he is dead. <laughs> okay, so I get two glory for that. Power step. I still have nothing. Okay, I'm going to play Encroaching Shadow and put a wound on Gristlewell. Oh, because you're on edge. I was thinking, I thought that was a hit. Uh, he had to be on a... Uh... That's <laughs> yeah. annoying. Yes, he does. <laughs> if I hadn't gone round there, I wouldn't have been on edge, Hex. <laughs> um, I still have nothing. Okay, so on to my second activation. And I'm going to charge with Stormsire. He's going to go one, two, three to there. And he's going to zap, zap at Gristlewell. So it's two dice normally. He gets one lightning for either storm, but that doesn't matter. So it's two swirlies. Double crit. One, one swirly. swirly. So I need something. Whoa. Shield. No. So that's nothing. So that's two damage? Yes. He takes two, but he dies anyway. Well He's done. dead, and I score death from afar. Well done. So two more glory. Pick up another objective. Well, it's do or die time. For my third activation, I'm going to make a charge action. We'll have a charge counter for Avalon. Oh, yep. uh, I'm going to make a charge action with Master Talon here. He's going to charge onto objective four. Uh -huh. Well, it's not really because he only does one damage. Yeah, I know, but she's already taken two wounds. Yeah, but he only does running over two swords as well. Ooh. Here we go. 
for sword. Sword, so okay. You do so you need something. Dodges, shields, or crits. Oh, oh not just that. one damage. Should have, should have, I should have gone with my plan. Never mind. So she's one taken damage. three wounds now. Yeah. Anything in your power step? No. Nothing for me either. So on to my third go. I'm just going to draw a power card. Everyone's charged. And I'm going to play that card. Oh. Unfocused Blast. Ooh. So basically, Gambit Spell 1 Lightning. I'll cast it with Dawncast, which he automatically casts it. I just want, just need to roll two dice to make sure I don't roll okay. double crit killer. <laughs> killer. <laughs> That's how you don't one crit. Oh, that's close. Okay, so what does that do? So unfocused blast is I put the scatter token down next to the cast's hex. I'll just okay. point it with the hammer towards him. Mm -hmm. And I basically roll three dice. Whoever's in the hex that it points to, scatter one hex from there. So that person takes one damage. Okay, so if it goes, you're, you're putting it where? So, so I will put it on. So, so can it go it back to you or not? No. Okay, no, that's, it only that's, that's, that's one away. Yeah, oh, I see. So if you get a hammer, you kill Master Talon. Basically, if he's and already got get... a wound. Yep, he has. Okay, so the first one misses. Okay. It's another crit. Second one misses. Last one misses. Oh dear, oh dear. And that's it for me and my power step. The power step, I'm going to play Trophy Belt on um, the Butcher. The Butcher. He's got the Larval Lance, I forgot that. It's me prattling around. He's got the Larval Lance. He could have killed, <laughs> could have killed her last turn. Oh, stupid boy. Okay, um, and she's only got one damage left, hasn't she? She has only got one left, yeah. Yeah, so I'm not going to bother playing with the other card. I actually could have killed her last time if I hadn't... If I hadn't, oh. if I hadn't forgotten he had the Larval Lance, yeah, I, I was, could have done an extra I, damage. I thought I'd killed the person who had it. I don't know why I thought right, that, yeah. but I just thought that person yeah. was dead. So, so uh, there we are. That's why we don't win Grand Clashes. Because <laughs> actually, I could have put. I probably wouldn't have put Trophy Belt on it, but I could have put the extra strength on the off charge that I did hit, and yep. I did hit. But anyway, I'm going to uh, my fourth activation. I'm going to charge with the butcher. He's going to go one, two, three to there. You don't need to be that close. You could charge from behind because no, it's got that's range true. two. But then I get away from this, this lethal hex. But yeah, there is that. There is um, that. So I think it's a, I think it's worth doing. <laughs> I suppose if you go first, you can attack me with that. But you can just attack this one anyway, so I don't think it makes much difference. Um, okay. So it's two hammers with assists. And single assist, yeah. Which is why I did it in that order. But had I realised, I've, I've got an effectively great strength card. Yeah, oh, could have killed her. One hammer. Oh, a double assist. Can I get something? No! Oh. So she is dead. Oh dear. Uh, so you get two glory. Two for that one. glory. This might be where things start to come unraveled. Mm. Is there anything in your power step? No. No, nothing for me either. So on to my fourth and final go. I'm going to pick up another power card. I assumed you were. I'm going to play it. It's Lethal Ward. So I'll kill off. Oh, um, nicely done. Mr. Blokey with the arm in his hand. Nicely done. Because that's messed me up. And pick a glory up for that one. It's not helped me, it's unfortunately. Me messed me up, though, You Pete. messed yourself. Anything for you in my power step? No. So we're on to the end phase, and you went first. I did, and you messed me up there by killing the person on the um, objective. I mean, I was a bit. Either one of them would have been killed. I don't score path to victory. Ooh. Uh, but I do score solid gains. So I did kill a couple of people for, with Tome of Offering so that, and things, so that's I got the three glory needed. So just score, oh, that's all I score. Just sort of games. So I'm going to throw away Path to Victory because I don't think I'm going to kill Avril. It's going to be tricky. He has got a full complement of wounds. Yeah, I mean, I might, but it seems pretty unlikely. You do um, have the... Um, oh, you do have the Lance. I and he's right by Lethal Hex. <laughs> oh. 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 It could be death or glory. Death or glory. Yeah, but, you, but if I don't win the roll off, it's death for you. It's death because <laughs> you'll just kill him. Well, and then, and then, yeah, possibly, or I might I've just got, run off in a different and then, direction. And then I've got an object. Oh, really? And then I've got an objective I can't score, as I've got four objectives left. Now, if I was playing this game properly, I'd know what objectives I had left. Yeah. Um, and unfortunately, because I, I only picked this deck up today, I can't remember what they are left. So. Um, I think I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna throw it away anyway. You're right. I could kill him. You, but you, you yeah, yeah. There might be the right choice still, depending. I'm on what gonna you got put left. well motivated on the bats, oh, and I do inspire, of course. As well, oh yeah. You're not in my half anymore. The, the few that are alive inspire. I think I'm gonna get rid of confusion because I don't think confusion is gonna be very much use. Probably in this current now. situation. So that means I'm gonna draw three. You know, two new objectives. Three will be cheating, and five new power cards. 
Okay, so I have scored solid gains and fired up. I think I'm going to get... I might as well keep my last one because I've only got two more objectives left. I'm going to get rid of Sorceress Repost. I've had that all turn. And the problem is, the attack that targets them has to fail. Ugh. And you just keep rolling crits. And, and oh, you, no, I keep, and you keep rolling crits. Yeah, okay. I just can't roll anything yeah, to defend. Yeah, yeah. So I'm probably going to get rid of that one. Maybe I'll regret it, but who knows. And I'm going to draw up two objectives and five power cards. Time to roll for the third and final round. What did the Grim Watch get? Oh, one of each. Crits again. Crits are plenty. Oh, oh one of each. each. <laughs> <laughs> oh, one and one and a single. The crit. crit and a single. Two crits. Two crits. No. no. I will go first. Yeah. Just realised it is twelve plays third. No, it's it's fourteen plays fifteen. How many have I got? You've got you've got fourteen. <laughs> okay, Whoa, fourteen close, plays fifteen. Close stuff here. I definitely can't score one of my objectives. Uh, I will be hard pressed to score all of mine. So I'm going to make a charge. I'm going to go one, two, three, four, five to there. <laughs> Which means I will score. Gather momentum at the end of the turn. All nicely done. So it's three. Three hammers for three damage. Ooh. Two hammers. Okay, Stormside does have two dice, but it is only shields. Oh, oh the, the crit! crit again. He's got the crit! He's got the crit! Oh, the crit. You can't He's got push me crit. back. I can't push you back. Yeah, I wish I kept Sorceress Repost. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, wow. um, so I'm going to play Seized Weapon on him, on, oh. on um, the Butcher. One wound on Storm Sire right there. He's going to take the glory for gathering momentum oh. as well. Let's go gather momentum and pick up a new objective. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to put the Arcane Familiar on Storm Sire to give him another late lightning. I don't think it okay. makes much odds, but I might as well put it there. I'm going to play a Pawning Visage. Ooh. To push. And that basically, choose yep. one friendly fighter adjacent, push him two hexes away. So I'm going to go that one, way. One, two. Two? Well, well, I think I have to what do it in a straight there? line, I think. Oh, no, just two away. No, because knockback's the only thing that yeah, has to yeah. go in a straight line. So. Okay. Yeah, I don't know, because I suppose... I don't think you can go one, two. You have to go both well, it has of them to be away, away, but that is still away. Yes, so. That's still away. So, so um, yeah, I will two. put him... Oh, I can't put him there, then. No, because that wouldn't be away. away. So I will put him there, because... Yeah, yes, I'll put okay. him there. Okay. I'm going to put Ayara's instant shield on him as well, which is the spell reaction. Swirly, if someone attacks him, can give me a reroll. Okay. Back to you. Um, I'm going to play sidestep. Ooh. Let me just push the butcher to there. So I'm going to play Abasoth Sun Making. Ooh. Two dice. Need the lightning, which I've got anyway, to make sure I don't roll. <laughs> oh, That's double another damage. Oh. oh, God. Oh. Storms, I might kill himself. Okay, uh, I'll get rid of objective three. Oh, good choice. I don't remember if you've done the objective one, two, or three objective yet, so I, I figured... I haven't, and it's in hand. Oh, there that we go. That was a good choice. There we are. Back to you. I'm going to play Restless Prize. I'm just going to move it around the back to here Ooh, on number okay. four. And the reason I'm doing that is so that I can play Pervasive Delusion and score uh, for me playing my third ploy. Yep. And the glory. Another glory. And 16 plays 15 now. Draw the last card. Okay. So back to me, I'm going to play Spectral Wings. Ooh. Ooh. I've got nothing. So if you've got nothing else, it's onto my first go. I'm going to charge with him. One, okay, two, three, three four, five. It's going to come down to this attack, I think. Probably. Oh, maybe, maybe the next one. <laughs> maybe one of the two. Yeah. Okay, so two hammers on, I can't remember him, the Knight's Herald, I think. That is uh, the Herald, yes. So, I mean, it is only one... Oh, you've got minus one dice from adjacent enemy fighters. Oh, yeah, so it's only one hammer. Mm. In fact, I'll charge to there then. So I'm you can kill him with your sweet. Sweet. How about yeah. if you roll a double crit? Well, that is the risk. Yeah, but I've only got two dice, though. You haven't got three dice on there, have you? It is only two dice. Yeah. So I sh if I roll double crit again. Mind you, your hammer's two. two. Oh, one crit. Your hammer is two. But I only roll one dice because if uh, I'm adjacent. No, but if you're to there, you. it's, two, it's range two there. 
Oh, is it? Yeah. Well, I rolled them anyway. Okay. Good point. It is ranged too. I forgot about that, but I've zapped you. And I don't save. So, so he's dead. We've killed him. I think you're going to win now. Glory for me. Well, you have charged. I have charged. Um, I do score measured strike as well. Score immediately oh, if Freddy Fighter makes no, a successful attack. You're definitely exactly going enough. to win. You're definitely going to win. If only I hadn't used sidestep over there. Um, and okay. power step, I'm I'm going to try and cast Sphere of Akshi on the bats. And that is enough because I've got an innate, well I've got okay. two innate light. So that's fact, one so damage to the bats? One damage to the bats. Yeah, if I hadn't used sidestep I could have got a couple of extra attacks in. And over to you my power step. So I think my second activation, I'm really upset with myself for not having sidestep. I'm wondering whether to draw a card. That you might draw a card and kill the bats. Well, they've got three wounds. It's got three wounds. I don't think there's any two okay. damage things. I'm going to um, draw a card. Okay. And I'm going to put sudden growth on the bats. No! Oh. <laughs> Curses. Okay, I've got nothing to do. So, okay. my second activation. Yep, drawing a card. I'm going to draw a card. And I'm going to play that card. It's Abasoft's Withering. Oh. I just need to make sure I don't roll two crits. I thought it was for a minute. <laughs> <laughs> that's another so crit. That's another crit. And that's another, another wound to so the Yes, yeah, not a wound, but they're down to well, they're down to they're now down to four wounds. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Okay. So I'm going to keep living dangerously. I'm going to draw, take and draw another card. Just for the record, that's three spells cast. Draw so another far. card. Yep. Okay. Nothing in your power step either. No. So it's my third go. I'll draw another power card. I might as well play it. It's Eldritch Ward. But it, it's pointless. It reduces the damage suffered by one. Okay. It's I only do. got one wound, so okay. Literally doesn't matter. But I just figured no, out. Okay. It. Well, just in case, I'm going to put great strength on uh, <laughs> on the bats as well. The bats have been pumping iron. Yeah, and I'm going to put heroic vision on them, which is plus one dice Ooh. to their range one and two attack actions. So if you've got nothing else, nothing like for me. Fourth go. I'm going to charge with the bats. Ooh. Four dice. Ooh. Swords within snare, which is meaningless. One, one sword, sword one poxy that. sword. <laughs> oh, I'm going to now attempt to cast IR's oh, yeah. instant shield. Okay, roll well, double crit. <laughs> that's the wrong dice. That's, that's the best dice. <laughs> so Ironically, just... he could kill himself trying to protect himself. <laughs> <laughs> no. One swirly, that does so count. You've done it, so you've got to re-roll these. That is my fourth spell cast oh, as nice. well. Oh, you're definitely going to win this game. So, I've got two dice and I can re-roll one now. Don't, Don't need, need to. Two, two shields. Uh, so I I'm going to push you back shield. and play trap. <laughs> no. Oh, I'm not. I'm not going to. Anything in your power step? No. Okay. No. My fourth and final go. Uh, I'm going to draw my last power card. It's Tomb of Offerings. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks a bunch, Tomb of Offerings. <laughs> you work so useful. All right. End phase then. I just score fired up. Whoa, one view. Yeah. I scored opening gambit and I did finally manage to score magical well storm. Well done, well done. Only because you attacked me. <laughs> 17. 20. Poor, well played. Good game, sir. That good, was good game. Good game. I think you, you won it with partly with zapping. With um, many crits. Well, you got a lot of crits. Well, I got a lot of crits too. We you zapped, that. you zapped uh, somebody on the Stop Me Scoring Path to Glory. Yeah. Got two more. I mean, actually, you still would have won, I think. I don't think I. Well, if I hadn't, else. if I hadn't killed him, I'd be one less, and you'd be two more. That would have been a tie yeah. at that point. And I possibly lost it playing sight up over there. I played sight up over there, so you had to move. You oh, couldn't just, just shoot zap him. him. So yeah, which was a reasonable play. Yeah, yeah, that's uh, yeah. But actually, if you I just stood there. I would have shot you. Yeah, I, and so then you could have got more glory. So I was thinking, I, I was thinking that would limit the glory. Yeah. But in fact, as it turned out, I could have had three attacks with the bats. Uh, but, but then you'd have been charging up your IR sword every time. Yeah. Uh, if you hadn't attacked him at the end there, I'd be two glory less because I wouldn't have got the uh, magical storm. Ah, uh, I was uh, still lost. It would have been closer. One glory in it. One, yeah. one or three glory. I can. Yeah, so that's the sort of thing that maybe a pro would think. Okay, he's cast three card spell, but and he hasn't scored magical storm. Maybe. Yeah, but know. I mean, the first time you come up against me, you're not going to know I've no, got it right. No, Although it's true. a, it's a, it's a good guess. I would have guessed when you said I've, I've cast one, two, three spells. <laughs> <laughs> Possibly in the tournament setting, you I would not. Say I might that. not say that. <laughs> I might just you say sure that. I'm, yeah, but, <laughs> but I probably would because yeah. I'd be grinning like an idiot. <laughs> I've got three spells. So uh, that's an interesting one. It's, you kind of, I, and that is something I had noticed in my play. I get very stuck in the, I've got to do this, and I don't really think about the denial, glory denial. Yeah, I'm the same. Um, and actually, 
but it's hard because I was behind. Yeah. So yeah. to an extent, there wasn't any point in denying you glory. I mean, if you'd have got that attack off, <coughs> you I would, although I would have still got my objective. So if I if you'd have got that attack, you'd have got one more. So you'd be on eighteen, and yeah. I'd be on twenty two. Yeah. No, nope, twenty. Sorry. 20. If I if I killed you over there with the butcher, though, <coughs> would have been a different. Story. It would have been all over. Yeah. yeah I mean, if you if you killed him with the butcher, I wouldn't have scored. Um, magical storm. I would have scored opening gambit because I got measured strike. I think no, I didn't. I wouldn't have scored that either. I would have been full glory down. Yeah. So if you'd have killed him, yeah, it would have been the I'd other have way been around. Two up, and you'd have been two down, and I wouldn't. Have, and I wouldn't have scored it. Yep. Yeah, although funny enough, I'm not sure I'd have been able to score the ploy one because I don't think I one of the ploys had to be adjacent to you, so I'd have got one less glory. Oh, did you? Yeah, one of my ploys. Only one of them. <coughs> And I wouldn't have. I, I don't know if I was drawn into centre of attention or not. I'm not sure. But interesting stuff. That's a close enough game that I'm happy with that. Whether yeah, it was I would, good. It, whether it I was good. I mean, I'm really glad to have gum runner up in the Grand Clash. That's <laughs> 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 about the closest I'm going to get. But I mean, that game was closer than either of the game, any of the games at the Grand Clash. Right. Okay. Because they were like twenty there to. Was one, there were a couple of flashings, weren't they? Yeah. The first game was a, it was a fairly good kicking for. Stormcraft. The second game was a fairly big kicking for the Grimwatch, and the third game, I think the Grimwatch then had a uh, gave the Stormcast a fairly good kicking again. Yeah, okay. So it wasn't anywhere near that close in any of the games. So which is interesting because not to take anything away from the players, but I wonder whether how much of it is luck because well, there's a lot of crits bounce around in this yeah, game. Yeah, yeah. I mean, and it, we both scored high, but you kind of if you don't get your cards or dice in the right order slash facing up right the right way, then you just get mashed. Yes, by, by either deck. And the first in the first game, he killed Avron in like the second action yeah. by a charge of Grisselwell by rolling double crits, and then using um, seized weapon or whatever it is to do the last wound. So in that kind of situation, you're just SOL as a Stormcast yeah, player. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. little you can do about that. It does. It does kind of highlight the importance of having a very well polished deck. Yes, um, because um, you. Um, we pick this up. We have proved categorically, or I have, that I don't really know how to play this game, and yet I have scored 17 glory just picking up the deck and not really playing with it. Yeah, which just shows how efficient and uh, good the deck is. As yeah. as go, going into a tournament, you've just got to basically refine, refine, refine your deck. And obviously, there are the difference between the people like me who are at the bottom and the people who are at the top are consistently playing it well, but actually, this deck just plays just good plays. anyway. I mean, maybe I, I have to take this garage with me. To play <laughs> underground clash um, because that I'll try struggle to get that in ninety minutes, won't I? I do. I do think <laughs> that, um, that that it does highlight that the decks can almost play themselves, but you do need to know who you're putting where. Because hmm. if you just picked up the Grimwatch for the first time, you wouldn't necessarily yeah, know who's what. Yes. You wouldn't necessarily put Gristlewell in the right place or no. Crack Marrow. Same with the Stormcast. And I did try and think about my setup, which is something I'm I'm quite bad at. I did think about where I would put the objectives. So I put them so they were close enough that you might try and go for them, but yeah. I was standing next to one. Although, funnily two. enough, I barely used... I, I used the one that I needed. Yeah. Um, and I don't think you killed the guy on it. I can't remember. No, because you scored Supremacy, didn't yeah, you? Yeah, I scored Supremacy and Temporary Victory. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, it's interesting. So you only need two objectives, really, in your half most of the time to score most of your objectives, apart from Temporary Victory and Supremacy. Yeah. Well, that's what I was cause listening to something about, basically saying the Green Watch offsetting the boards and uh, it's... It doesn't matter if you haven't got the three because you've got the rate, the pace. I mean, I you've was got speed. Yeah, I was a bit worried that because um, I didn't get inspired. But luckily, in the first turn, I, when I when I played Frenzied Search, I drew cover ground, which is always nice. Which meant I could get to the objectives. Yeah, and yeah. I could have got to either. So you could, the guy here could even have got down there. Maybe I should have put the objectives further back down here. But then I always worry if I do that and I kill one of your guys, then you're just going to yeah, summon yeah, that's one of them. A massive then, risk, yeah. And then there's going to be miles away. I'm never going to yeah. get back to him in no. time. So, no. I'd say, but good game overall. Yeah, like I these enjoyed decks. That. We'll be playing a game next. We're going to swap over the war bands mm. and the decks and see how the other person does with them. Bye.